This exercise is about symbols. And some of the symbols that are very common can be typed with little shortcuts. For example, the copyright symbol can be uh, typed out by typing a open bracket, the letter C, and a closed bracket. And the reason that that happens is because here in File, Options, Proofing, Autocorrect, you can see right there, uh, it's, it's an entry in here. And here's the Euro. There is the registered trademark, uh, some very common ones. So because they are in this list, it means that if you type that shortcut, open bracket C, close bracket, it immediately autocorrects to be uh, the copyright symbol. And I'll just do one more, open bracket E, close bracket. And you can see that uh, I've given you a little picture of the shortcuts. So that's the first thing, is just that some symbols, you have shortcuts that you can use. Now, if you, uh, there are many other symbols, and you are going to access them, access them by clicking the Insert tab, and then come over to the right-hand side of the Insert tab, and click Symbols. And you're going to see your most recently used symbols here, but you click on More Symbols, and you get a dialog box. And I've given you a little picture down here showing you, actually I should upgrade this. This is uh, from maybe 2013. Uh, but I'm going to go here to the Wingdings font, and what we get should jive with the picture. Okay, so there it is, the Wingdings font. You see the pencil, the scissors, and so on. Uh, so. I've just asked you to pick out some of these, and you can uh, find them. You'll click here, and then Insert. And I'm actually going to close this because I'm not sure where that went. It went up here, um, so I would take that out. And you can put them here in a line. And they're, all of those ones are found in the Wingdings font. I do want to point out that one of the tricky things about symbols is that uh, you see that we have a font here, but there are a few of these fonts, like symbols, for example, this one here. Uh, uh, not that one. Sometimes you'll get something called a subset over here. I'm just going to see if I can, ah, yes, here's a subset over here. So just so you know, uh, it's just to help filter the results. Uh, this, this one here is all music symbols. There's, there's not that many of them. But for example, here in Tahoma, uh, Look at all these subsets. Now, it's a really annoying because they're not in alphabetical order, but you can, so if I switch to basic Latin, it just means that we're at the top end of things. And watch if I pull this scroll bar down. You see, it's changed into all different subsets here that you could if you know what you want, you can find them. See, the currency took us, even though it starts with C, and you'd think it would be way up near the top of these, it's down near the bottom. So just be aware in some exercises, I'll say, or you'll see it's in a subset, and that means, uh, well, just follow the instructions, and it should uh, help you to not have to scroll through a million symbols.